Hey, what is up guys? It is SilverSun here and today I'm going to be giving you guys my review on the Dragon Ball Super episode 50. Now, basically what happened was Goku Black pretty much came in like how we did in the last episode and pretty much he was just looking at the sights and whatnot. And then it was pretty surprising. I was pretty surprised that he even knew Vegeta and Beerus and whatnot. He said the God Destruction Beerus and Vegeta like he knew them from somewhere. So who knows how that came to be. But basically Goku's really excited, the regular Goku, and pretty much he goes up to try and fight Black. But pretty much Black shoots a big key blast at Goku, which pretty much pretty much knocks him into a wall. And then so Goku powers up and then Black powers up and they pretty much just start fighting. They're pretty much even in terms of power, except over the course of the fight, pretty much Black was starting to power up a little more and whatnot, and Goku was fighting him at a Super Saiyan 2 form, so Goku obviously has, you know, a lot more powering up to do, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, at least for now, but it was pretty obvious that Black was pretty much impl improving. It kind of reminds me of Hit when Goku fought him, and then his Tutok. Toki Tobashi started improving over the course of the fight. It kind of feels similar to that, but pretty much him and Black were pretty much fighting for at least the first half of the episode, and then pretty much um, Black's time ring started trying to pull him back into his regular era because he's not really supposed to travel back in time. It's pretty much against the rules, so basically the ring starts pulling him back to his own timeline, and then pretty much... He's saying like, oh, you know, this pain will make me stronger and whatnot. Kind of like a Saiyan, like with the whole Zenkai boost after they get, you know, knocked out or beat up, you know, they come back even stronger. So I'm not really sure what Black is. I mean, I want to say he's some kind of evil Saiyan or something, kind of like Turles or something. But I wouldn't say that just of now because it'd just be odd. So pretty much he's in his own timeline again back in the future and whatnot. Everything's still destroyed and pretty much he falls to the ground because he was pretty much clenching his chest, his heart basically when Goku kicked him and punched him and whatnot. He got, well he didn't get beat up badly or anything like that. He was just like, I don't know, I guess it was his chest, something wrong with it. But pretty much he falls to the ground and he's pretty much just thinking like, oh yeah, I'll definitely be much stronger next time we fight and whatnot. And pretty much he's thinking like, oh, well, since, you know, I can't go back to the future and whatnot, hopefully they come back here to the future and whatnot, because his ring won't really allow him to go back to the past anymore after what just happened. But pretty much um, Beerus and we start talking about like, oh, you know, it's forbidden to do all this time traveling stuff, you know, going to and from the past or to the future and whatnot, you know, not even gods can do that sort of stuff. And pretty much... But pretty much before Black left, actually, I forgot to mention this, before Black left to go to the future, unwillingly, he pretty much destroys the time machine, so the time machine is destroyed, and pretty much Trunks is wondering, like, is there a way, you know, is there hope for us, and a way to for us to go to the future and defeat Black, because if we don't, you know, he's really going to destroy everything and whatnot, all the people he cares about and whatnot, and, but then pretty much Bulma comes out at the last minute, and pretty much she had the past time capsule the one from the um cell saga she had it in a capsule and pretty much she um throws it out and pretty much everyone sees it and whatnot so there's still some hope there and whatnot for them to go to the future but we go we pan out to the future again one last time and pretty much we see that Mai isn't actually dead her arm moves just a little bit I mean, at first I was thinking maybe she wasn't dead, you know, because most people were saying like, oh, you know, she's dead and whatnot, you know, even the announcer said it in that, in the other episode, the past episode, and when he said that, like, when the announcer said it, I was kind of thinking like, okay, maybe she is dead, I mean, if they announce it like that, then I guess, you know, I guess she is dead, I mean, at first I was, I wasn't trying to lose hope, I was thinking, you know, if her voice actor and whatnot, from what I've heard, is going to be in most of these episodes, I mean, sure, it could be Young Mai, or something like that, but still, like, I heard that she was going to be in most of the episodes, if not all of them, this, um, this future Trunks saga, so I was thinking, like, if she's there, then how come, you know, her character's dead, how is she going to say any lines and stuff like that, but pretty much, she's still alive, and judging by the next episode preview, it seems like Trunks actually goes back to the future somehow, and the animation looks good, at least in the next episode preview. As for this episode, I thought it was good, I liked the fight scene between Goku and Black, it didn't look... 
amazing amazing but it looked pretty good nonetheless um we actually got a new outro this time it was it was pretty good we got a new song and whatnot and a new background it wasn't too much different it's just like it kind of like at first it looks like the manga like like black and white and whatnot page and it's just scrolling through and it pretty much shows everybody like the omni king beerus and Whis, goku pretty much everyone like jacko um goten and trunks all those people the super um dragon the super dragon from the super dragon balls but i don't think i saw like the universe six fighters i might have to go back and watch that but it showed a lot of people like the oracle fish and whatnot but i thought it looked pretty nice i didn't mind it it kept changing colors the backgrounds and whatnot and stuff like that it was nice but as far as this episode goes i thought it was nice i mean I can't really say much else about it. I mean, it was pretty good. But tell me what you guys think. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Did you guys think it could have been better? Do you think that the fight should have been longer or shorter? Or whatever you guys want to say. Please comment down, that down below. And pretty much until the next one, guys. Silver Sun is out.